Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da Habatifillah, a question was asked, assalamu alaikum I work out four days a week at school, weight training, one hour sessions Is this a waste of time and should I be using that time to seek knowledge? I want to be fit because I'm very skinny so I want to try and bulk up and get some extra pounds so first and foremost, uh, as the scholars mention, that uh, of course these types of activities are mubah, they're permissible. And as Imam Mukbil, I recall from a, 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 a cassette, and I think it was a cassette entitled Da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, and later in the lecture he mentioned that he said, you know, we don't prohibit playing football because in Yemen and, you know, in a lot of uh, countries, they, they love to play uh, um, uh, what we call in America soccer and they call football. Uh, it's very popular in these countries, in, in most of the world, in fact, uh, compared to America and perhaps in Canada, North America. But... Uh, anyhow, and he said, we don't make that prohibit, we don't prohibit Qurat al-Qadim, you know, but what we do prohibit is, is, you know, is wasting time, meaning that if it supersedes or if it um, affects your ibadah, that's, that's the bottom line right there. So the asal is, is that it's mubah. And in fact, if you're doing that weight training in order to, for a good maqsad, and we talked about this in our our study of Qa'id Thaqiyah, you know, those basic uh, Qa'id Kulliyah that, that we mentioned. We studied the five Qa'id Kulliyah and that, uh, you know, that this can be a was if, if you make your intention that this is a wasila to be better in your ibadah or to defend the Muslims or defend yourself, then perhaps you will get ajr for this. You know, as the Prophet ﷺ said, in a binyat, verily actions are tied to the intentions. And so, um, with that being the case, Habitvilla, is that uh, as long as it's not affecting your ibadah and it's not taking place over your ibadah, over the wajibat, okay, you're devoting an hour a day. An hour a day uh, can be something significant, it depends on how your schedule is, but it's also not. So significant, you know, for example, if this is in between your prayer times, obviously, you know, you're, as long as you're not working out instead of praying or something like this. As far as Talib al-Ilm, the one who is busy with seeking knowledge, then they've got to re really prioritize and see if they can afford to devote that kind of time to working out that's taken away from their study because depending on where you are in your studies, where you are in your Talib al-Ilm, and what you're trying to achieve, you know, the time, uh, your, your time is critical. And how you use your time is critical. And one thing I found that when I lived in Medina, my last year, that I used to, that's when I started working out. Because for many years I didn't. I was just trying to do Talib al-Ilm. I was working. You know, I was eating bad food. Because, you know, there's just so many durus. You're just overwhelmed because these are the ulama that you... That many of you people, many of the people are reading about and hearing about and getting translated for them. But subhanAllah, we're just in our, in your local masjid. Oh, Sheikh Salim bin Hey, oh, I, I think I'll go visit Sheikh uh, Muhammad ibn al-Wahhab. Oh, Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi's over here. Oh, Sheikh Ubaid, let me go sit with Sheikh Ubaid. I have a couple questions for this. Let's go sit, you know, it was right there. And Duruz, it was just nothing. So, so my health for me and a lot of the brothers I knew, we were just, you know, some of my good companions at that time who were doing like the brother Abdulillah Lahmami we used to go to a lot of durus together uh, she, uh, you know my man Jamal Adin, my man uh, Talib Alexander you know we, we were there you know we were doing it together you know because all, all of us were workers and students and then all the students who were just living their life you know and so it depends upon the individual how you can use your time how you can divide your time uh, uh, and what stage you're uh, and what you're trying to achieve. So for me now, I don't 
I'm in the mem, there are mashayich here, but I don't, I don't go sit with anybody. You know, I, I didn't have time and maybe I've gotten in some bad habits, but now I'm so busy with life. I'm older and I have different priorities and different struggles. I, I have much more responsibility, so I don't really have the, the benefit to be able to go sit with the scholars like I, I'd like to, you know. So if I have a serious question, I just get on the phone. But, uh, you know, it just depends on where you are. So for me now, my health is more uh, important and I make maraja, you know. And that's why I teach on the YouTube because that allows me to go get back into my books and to keep from forgetting things and to look into issues and people have questions and I can look up stuff and I can go into it. So that helps me. And so getting back to your question for, uh, for your, for yourself, you have to determine where you are, what you're trying to achieve. And as long as it's not, uh, messing up your Ibadah for me, I, uh, also <clears throat> likewise <clears throat> don't go four days. I go five days and I go to the gym and for me, that's important to maintain a, a decent size because also I'm from America. And the bottom line is even those youngsters <laughs> are big. So you want to have something to be able to say, hey, think twice because I got a little something too. You know, that, that's just the reality. And that's how I think. And that's how the brothers I roll with, we think like that. So uh, so you want to be able to, you know, it's very important to be in a, in a position to be able to defend yourself, defend your family, and, and help your brothers and sisters. What if I see a sister getting, you know, you know, I need to have a little something. But if you're a skinny little toothpick and I'm just breaking it down, that you're not going to be able to offer much and you may have more fear. It's not that the size is going to give you courage necessarily, but you feel better about yourself. You want to be healthy, whatever you're doing, and you want to be able to take care of yourself. That's the bottom line. You want to have know some defense know how to protect yourself, and we talked about this before, and I'm sorry to take so much time, but it is uh, an important subject, and I think it, uh, but again, you don't want to go beyond the bounds, and this is also the case, we have some brothers who indulge, you know, they're going four times, uh, uh, four hours a day, and stuff like this, now that, you know, it depends on what your lifestyle is, and stuff like that, but if it's superseding your Ibada, again, that's the bottom line of where of the line you, you can't cross. So you don't want it to affect your Ibadah. But I'm a firm believer in being balanced, and that's the kind of person that I am. I like to have time for my physical, and that helps me with my spiritual and my mental. I like to have that balance. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.